Swimsuit competition begins now. <laughs> hey, that's my song! Hey, let's give it up for the semi-finalists! Germany, Morocco, Greece, and Spain. And her mom is from Equatorial Guinea. So while she's here representing Spain, Atenea considers herself a citizen of the world. Let's go Spain. Puerto Rico! Her a homecoming parade after she won her national title. See the last time the town celebrated someone so passionately was when Patias Angela Lind competed in the 1984 Olympics. Looks like we'll have something to celebrate now. Woo! Namibia! Walking the Miss Universe stage in her JoJo for guys heels is literally a dream come true for Namibia. She says tonight is the culmination of years of hard work, perseverance, and dedication to both herself and her goals. Venezuela! Venezuela was the first delegate crown, so she's had an entire year to prepare. To put that in context, some of this year's delegates had mere weeks to prep before traveling to El Salvador. Well, let's see if our preparation pays off tonight and how she's working that stage. It looks like it is. As a dancer and choreographer, India is absolutely at home on stage. It's worth noting that this year's delegates had 10 different swimwear styles to choose from, including two burkinis. Thailand! Now this is not Thailand's first international competition. In fact, she represented her country at another pageant in 2019 and walked away with the crown. Antonia is hoping history repeats and she's named 72nd Miss Universe tonight. Chile! Chile became a certified health coach during the pandemic and says that training has served her well as she prepared for Miss Universe. Fun fact, she's actually related to St. Teresa of the Andes, the only saint in Chilean history. Jamaica! Jamaica says she was not the fan favorite at her national competition, but Jordan didn't let that slow her down. Given that she's now made the top 20, I'd say fan favorite or not, she is a force to be reckoned with. USA! USA is a girl with goals. In addition to obviously wanting the 72nd Miss Universe crown, Noelia hopes to eventually own an interior design firm, star in her own TV show, and publish an international magazine. And that room is going to be celebrating tonight as both of them advanced into the top 20. Peru hasn't won Miss Universe since 1957, but Camila hopes to change that tonight. Cameroon! Oh, I love Cameroon. She worked with a non 
nonprofit organization to build a water supply point in her village. Just by providing access to clean water, she dramatically reduced the spread of disease throughout her entire community. That's what you call a queen with a cause, and she is strutting it and owning the moment right now. She was a teenager. Colombia was ranked among the top 10 athletes in the Colombian Tennis Federation. That competitive spirit, combined with more than a decade of modeling experience, could give her an edge on stage tonight. She chose this style as a nod to her Pakistani culture in hopes of proving that you can be modest and still be Miss Universe. Australia! Australia's friends and family are hosting watch parties in Melbourne, Perth, and Sydney. Now later tonight, one lucky lady will walk away with the Spirit of Carnival Award and a Carnival Cruise for two. Stay tuned for that announcement. Philippines! Woo! Philippines! If you think this crowd is going wild, Philippines says it's like a Manny Pacquiao fight every year when a Miss Universe airs. Her mom and cousin both won international pageants and Michelle hopes to continue that family tradition here tonight. title, the only thought running through her head was, Miss Universe is in three weeks. She says preparing for her time in El Salvador was super stressful, but she arrived feeling confident and ready to take on the universe. She took 10 private lessons with stylists to learn how to keep her hair under control here in El Salvador. And I gotta say, she has nailed it. She is looking flawless on that runway. Thank you. El Salvador! El Salvador is related to five pageant title holders, and one of those relatives made the top 10 at Miss Universe 13 years ago representing Guatemala. I can't wait to see if Isabella can meet or exceed that accomplishment tonight. Y'all, we are still having a party up here, yes, okay? Yes, we are. The delegates 